What do you believe, no pun intended, the universe of possibility is for Friday in terms of what kinds of things may be discussed? Right. Well, I know for a fact that the inspector general of the intelligence community, the inspector general, they have the information. I know what they've been briefed on. I've talked to people that have given them briefings. Information so if, about what, Jeremy? About UFOs, about UAP, about the presence of what, what I call UFOs and people popularly call UAP now. It's the same thing. The presence of UAP in our restricted airspace the, the presence of UAP durationally, reverse engineering programs, holding facilities with full craft. If people look back, I had the head of the DIA UFO program on my podcast with George Knapp called Weaponized. And the head of the DIA program said, not only do we have a craft, he admitted, but we breached the hull of it. I mean, look, this is not a secret anymore. Mm. We, we now need to get deeper. The second thing is, if this is all poppycock, word of the night, then why do so many people come at you so ugly? And not just, you're a hack, I don't believe it, but you've received real threats. How do you yeah. uh, want to describe that reality to the audience, and how do you take it? it I, I am, something's wrong with me. I, I'm unfazed, you know, praise and blame is all the same. I care what my family and my puppies think about me. <laughs> you know, what I'm trying to do is find out what is true about UFOs, what UFOs represent to humanity. This is something that I know for sure has been held back. And that's what's really pissed off people in Congress and Senate and our government is that they're starting to find out that they've been lied to as well. So for me, again, praise and blame is all the same. I have one mission and that mission is to learn as much as I can about this and, and then I can put out what it is that, that I can with national security. You know, the biggest thing that you've had working against you in this campaign for transparency is that this issue does not serve the game. The game is a reductive battle between two parties to expose advantage of which is worse. This issue doesn't work for that because it's not like the Democrats love the aliens, you know, unless we're talking about illegal aliens, right? And then that's the argument they're having down on the southern border. And you've had to work against that to get energy among lawmakers to see currency in this. Is the transparency, where is our money going? What is it going for? Why are people who are unelected allowed to tell you elected leaders you don't get to know. Is that getting traction? Yeah, look, th this is a, a fight for knowledge. You know, nobody has the ability to obscure what our natural environment is from human beings, from the American public or beyond. There are people that have mm. these answers, and this is a guarded secret, and it's it's higher than, than weapons of mass destruction. I know that for a fact. Wait, what is? Say that again. The UFO reality, it, it, the UFO reality is considered more of a threat. It's higher than weapons of mass destruction. That is something I know for a fact. That is conversations I've had with people in intelligence agencies who guard these secrets. Mm -hmm. So, so why? You know, why is it? And really, it's because it's a race to reverse engineer the technology. I've, I've said this for for mm -hmm. years now. Yeah. It remains true. So. Online, uh, well done in terms of baiting people, which is part of programming, uh, with the video. And I know that you have other video, I think it's called the Chandelier UFO UAP, um, that people have to watch the series and they'll see it presented to them. So I'm looking online and my producer's prepping me about what this is, and people want to slice up the jellyfish. I would have called it a compass rose, but you can call it whatever you want. A hundred different ways why it's not true, it's a smudge, it's a balloon. Here's why I don't care. Um, about these various theories, because somebody knows, Jeremy, that's why. And it is their business and responsibility to tell people whatever it is or that they don't know, we shouldn't have to guess. And this keeps happening again and again. That's the relevancy to me. I don't care what it is on the screen. I want someone to tell me who's in the business of knowing. Let me break something down for you because people don't understand. So when, when people and sources approach me and I obtain and release military film footage, sometimes verified by the Pentagon, that doesn't go unnoticed. There are investigations. My number one job is to protect sources, even if they don't protect themselves. But what you're seeing are people that are frustrated with the secrecy. They know elements of the truth and they don't believe it should be held back. So being responsible, caring about national security, 
I can release things like the date, but not the time an image was set because that can perfectly identify something. So with all of my imagery, whether I get it perfect or not, what I'm doing is I'm giving as much information as I can. I'm protecting sources, trying to move that ball forward and getting a bipartisan look at this so we can all be on the same page. This is imminent right now. This topic, what's happening, this is imminent. Whether you believe in UFOs or not, it's no longer a matter of belief. It's either true or not true. And this information is coming out. We need to treat whistleblowers better. We need to protect people that come forward. And as a journalist, I am doing my best to bring information, credible information forward, and allowing the public to decipher what's going on, but also having more witnesses come forward who are at these events, which is already happening. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.